Hello, in this iClone tutorial, I will show you how to customize character for animation. This is part of the iClone Masterclass series to help iClone users improve and level up their skills. First of all, you go to das3d.com. You are going to get some morphs or some characters from there, a character a morph from there. So uh, once you go to das3d.com, you type in the search bar and you will get the multi-man for Genesis 3 male. Make sure you have the base Genesis um, male figure, Genesis 3 male figure first. Then you get the multi-man for Genesis 3 male. Is $24 so you can buy it from here so you get these uh, different shapes morphs that you can use uh, to create the character then you will send it to character creator for further enhancement so now let's go to DAS after you've downloaded the, the after you've downloaded the multi-man for Genesis 3 mil um, morph or bundle uh, what you can do now is go and open DAS. Um, you open DAS here. So my DAS studio is open now. And here, the first thing you do is, um, let's say you, you start a new project. Once you start the new project, you have a blank scene like this. You come to DAS 3D um, library. Once you come to DAS, my DAS 3D library, you scroll down, you scroll down, um, under people, under people, you go to Genesis 3 mail. You can see we have Genesis 3 uh, mail here. Then we have characters. Under Genesis 3 mail, you have characters. Then we have this character here called Morpheus. That's the character that I downloaded from the DAS website. So just double click and you see, you see your character here already. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give it the desired shape um, that we want. So under the actor editor here, you see different shapes. So we're going to take this one down. I will take uh, the Morpheus 2. We are using that figure. Then you see, just slide it up a little bit to your to what you want. So you can see this. I think this is very okay for me. No much. We didn't really do any much. Uh, modification just the figure uh, we have the figure here already so uh, that's how we get that particular figure and if you're okay with it next thing we're going to do is you go to file then you go to export so and that's under exports you're going to save um, the character so we're going to name it um, um let's say big man what's the name big man then we save it and you make sure everything is ticked accordingly the figures the props and just what you need actually here you just need figures and the embedded embed textures um allow the greatest skinning just make sure it looks like this if it doesn't have any clothes on you just it's f um make sure the export is saying yes type figure morpheus and you accept once you accept and you've exported it you can close das studio now then you open character creator so we have our character creator open here and the next thing we are going to uh, do is import the character that we exported in das 3d so how do you import it you go to 
um, transformer once you click on transformer it opens uh, the folder or you look for the folder that you saved uh, the character from das studio so we named it big man big man so we have it here big man fbx file so i press egg uh I, I press import okay so go to advance and if you want it to come with its own body texture you can just um click big body texture and go to different resolution i'm going for 4k depending on what you want then if everything's okay and you like um you've selected what you want to import then you just click on ok so we have our character in exported from DAS to character creator so first of all um because you can either use this skin type or a darker skin in my case um the skin i used for the final product was a, a, a dark skinned uh, character so um if you want to go to get your skin um under content under content here you go to um skin down here you go to skin then let me take it up a little bit yep once you go to skin we have a uh, different type of skins here you can see them but i i'm going for the the one i bought from the religion content store from um toko motion it's a skin adam name of the character is adam it came with like three different skins 4k resolution skin tone the religion website um on in their content store as toko motion that's the artist so there are different skins here so i'm taking um the skin tone 3 the skin tone o3 so uh, you drag and drop it on the character itself now you can see the character is all having the dark skin I've selected you can see how good well how nice the skin looks so uh, we are going to put clothes on the character so we're going to choose what type of cloth we want to use um, for this character and on that uh, if, if you want to get your clothes under the content you go to cloth then you go to shirts it's just depending on what type of shirt um shirt or cloth you want you can get different clothes in the content store at religion website and they have a lot of clothing you can buy them and download them and have a lot of them here so you go to your content uh then you go to cloth under cloth in my case uh you go to shoes so this particular suit i want to use is cloth under shoes that's under cloth then you go down to shoes this particular um suit it's called atacm suits um so you drag and drop it on the character yep we now see also for further modification if you want to modify um uh to customize it furthermore um you can just go under modify if it's the character that you want to modify you click on base uh, cc base as the character itself um then you go to morphs if you want to customize it more we have um different morphs here I can work with uh, so for instance if you just want to make it um make the character more muscular you can come here under body builder 
these moths are also gotten from um, the religion content store we have them in packs in bundles so you can just modify it if you want it more muscular thicker you just move the sliders we have a lot of sliders here we have for the hand chest torso waist leg we have a lot of them you can just fully customize it um fully customize it to your taste that's the good thing about character creator it's it has every tool you need to customize your character to your own particular taste you can, it can be heavily customized that's just it does a very very good ecosystem for character uh, creation process so once you look everywhere and you're satisfied with the result and everything you want the next thing you do is you go to export or you go to uh sorry you go to file then you go to export i export it as i avatar you can also um send it directly to um i clone if you want to send it directly go to i clone you just click on send character to i clone and you wait for it to automatically send it and load i clone for the character to appear in the scene so we have our character in um an iClone already as you can see we've put all the setup together this is the same character we got from das and we send it through a uh, character creator then to iClone so you can now see how we set up the whole character um in the scene already so you can see you can see the motion already the character is it has motion i'm trying to uh, i use rococo studio at uh, the rococo suits to uh capture the motion and i i put it in the character here right in iclone and you can see the character that we've imported from das through um uh character creator now uh, i mean iclone and it's being animated uh, using files I, rec I recorded with the um, Rococo suits. Uh, so let me show you. Um, I'm going to show you a side by side, a picture in picture mode on how I how the motion looks like from the suit and in iClone. And by the way, uh, I added these accessories, these glasses. As you can see, I added these glasses to to the character on uh, to the character. I got the glasses also from Religion Content Store. On their website, their content store, they have different varieties. Um, this is just one of them, and I got it from there. That's how I just put it on the character. I just added it as an accessory to give it that nice uh, combat combat look. And to make him look very serious <laughs> you can see that so i'm going to show you how the motion capture So this is how this is how you customize 
character for animation using another software like DAS or any third party uh, software. You can see we downloaded from the DAS website. We downloaded the morphs. We use DAS to get the shape or the figure how we want it to be. We sent it to character creator and we modified it a little. We gave it um, a suit. Then we send it to iClone and then we um, added motion from the Rococo suit motion capture. So this is how you can do this. Very, 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 very broad and nice ecosystem using iClone, DAS um, and Character Creator. So with this, I hope it's going to help you in creating your own customized character and to show you how uh, third-party softwares can be integrated and used with uh, iClone and Character Creator. So thank you for watching this tutorial.